companies that made that did it really really well like if i look at companies that did really really well they were other before covid really suited for a covid type situation um mm -hmm. like i told you i i one of my company uh, portfolio companies um she did uh inhaler for um it's a, a company called calmigo and she did an inhaler for anxiety and now there's a lot yeah. of anxiety so for her it yeah. was amazing it was innovation yeah. that was waiting for something like this yeah uh, but that's luck that's, that's luck, luck. I would say. There's, yeah. there's although other... i i told yeah. you that i think that she had the best pr that she could have had this period yeah. That could that could be definitely be true, uh, yeah. but if you can pivot, I I've heard of a company that was uh, selling um, disposable um, like writing uh, pens and stuff like that, um, mm -hmm. and they did a pivot of using the same thing to uh, dispose um, like hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. uh, so they did a very small change, very small innovation in their product. Just instead mm -hmm. of uh, doing office supplies. To provide health supplies, um, and their money, they they continue on very successfully. So it doesn't need to be yeah. big innovation. When you talk about the fear of change, I, in my uh, experience, innovation doesn't need to be crazy big ideas. It needs to be um, a small change that really fits the 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 pain that you're trying to solve. Yeah. So it could be when you're thinking about the change. Many people think about the change in the product but actually it's the, the change in what it answers so the need exactly. is different and it could be a very big change in the need but the product is more or less the same it doesn't have exactly. it doesn't have this like big change for for i think that i heard something very similar with the vacuum bags from vacuum cleaners and they use the bags for the inhalers I think it's it's the same thing. I love that idea. Here, I give you another ex last example. Mm -hmm. um, sure. One of the distilleries, so a company that does gin and whiskey here, mm -hmm. I think gin and vodka here in the Bay Area has turned and mm -hmm. started creating hand sanitizers from their gin. Yeah. So yeah, now makes they're sense. selling. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of alcohol. That's what you need to do. Hand